What the hell is even that? Listen up. Listen up. The H2D Pro is out today, and uh, basically every other uh, so-called Pro printer is gonna be a glorified paperweight from now on. And I'm gonna tell you why, but I've also got a secret to share. Something that all the other reviewers are just too scared to admit. Oh, and speaking of uh, expensive stuff, I'm giving a $100 gift card giveaway through Matter Hackers, and I'm gonna give you more information at the end of the video, so stick around for that. We've got all sorts of printers up in here. Ultimakers, Prusas, A1s, other bamboos, and of course the Orange Storm Giga with a completely failed print, a monument to my failure. <laughs> this print has been taunting me for the past couple days, and of course, that printer right there. Now you might be thinking, what is the problem here? It's a bamboo. It's gonna be just perfect. And uh, you'd be right about that, but it's not so much of a mechanical flaw. It's more of a cosmetic existential flaw. Those other reviewers are showing you what it's nice to have a nice little toy, but what they're not showing you is this problem. Slaps the roof of my HTD Pro. And the problem with this machine, we can't actually print anything that we want to print on it because there's only preloaded files of pandas. That's right, we've had the machine for a little while, but I've only been able to print a cute little panda. Cannot believe that a $4,000 machine with a 65C bed chamber, a 350 degree C dual nozzle system, and a bed that is bigger than your grandma's bed can still only print a little cute little panda bear. Come on, is this 2005 at Best Buy at a kiosk where they, does that make any sense? I don't know if that makes sense. 1997 called, they want their user experience back. Now let's take a look at what this thing can do with its one and only party trick. We're gonna print the demo panda. This printer is built to be fast and it is. Just look at it go. It's a precision instrument. It's not trying to print back and forth like a frantic chihuahua on a sugar high. The Core XY system is doing all the work with the build plate only moving on the Z axis, of course. This is the reason you can get prints this clean, this fast, with this little effort. I mean, look at this print. <laughs> no, use my pen. Come here, you little panda. That's fine, that's, I mean, look. Look at the panda. Now this thing is built to print fast and accurate with a 50 ohm motion accuracy and a vision encoder. Like look, it's got like tons of little tiny QR codes on it. Anyway, look at the panda. This thing is smart, it's fast, and it's built to last. All, that we, all we need is that software so we can start printing now. Should be any minute. I can already smell the pungent aroma of the bamboo fanboys out there breathing down my neck through the camera. Oh, we just wanted a cheaper, less expensive machine with a bigger bed. Dual nozzles, why do we need that? Uh, why make it more complicated and more expensive? If you're still printing copyrighted plastic knickknacks made out of PLA from your favorite franchise, and you're just saying, oh, I just need a bigger bed so I can print five more of them at a time. Here's your binky. Here's your... Hold on. Pink or white? Here's your binky, here's your diaper. Go over there, have a nap, okay? The big boys are talking right now. Now, I can totally respect what Bamboo has done with the 3D printing community. I mean, they have really set the bar high, but I cannot in good conscience recommend this machine for $3,800, a fully enclosed printer with a Z-axis fully assembled and ready to go, if all you're gonna do is print articulating dragons, which frankly, I really like. The arguments that all those little knickknacks, the laser cutter, the engraver, the little, cu the, cu the paper cutter thing, all that stuff, is gonna provide extra wear and tear on the machine, and uh, it's gonna clog up all the little gears and stuff. Those are totally valid. Those are totally valid. It's more expensive, it's more complicated. But those people are missing the point. The H2D Pro is not for them. This isn't for hobbyist print farms. This is for real serious business. Government contractors, aerospace firms, enterprise grade security, physical network kill switch, WP, A2, enterprise Wi-Fi. This machine is for a company that needs to print a fully functional part in CF nylon for a client. 
and that client needs to know that the file is safe and the printer is secure. They don't care about a bigger bed for a bigger benchy. They care about 50 motion accuracy and a heated chamber. The heated chamber, of course, will prevent warping on expensive materials. It's actually like heated pretty, pretty more than usual, I think. This is a tool for pro 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 professional, secure, repeatable manufacturing, not a toy for printing another Groot. Or a cute little panda. Let me show you something. This is what you get when you don't have an enterprise grade non-fully enclosed printer, you get a monument to your failures. You get a Labubu sized monument to your failures. This was like two or three days. Look, if you're broke, I would get this printer <laughs> in a heartbeat. I'm gonna be real with you. Uh, but probably a couple minutes after it actually comes out, which is today. But um, I've just been notified that the software should be out, so. If you feel like this video was a personal attack on your life choices, just know that the comment section is open and you're free to go down there at any time. Just know I'll be watching. Oh, and uh, feel free to sign up for the $100 Matter Hackers gift card giveaway. Go to the link in the description of this video. I don't know why I waited till the end. I could have told you that from the beginning, but I didn't because I wanted to hope that you would watch the video all the way to the end. <laughs> but what I really want to know is those crazy people out there who are gonna buy it and then just print PLA little trinkets for the fair at the end of the weekend. Uh, also put that down in the in the comments below. And I, I really do wanna hear from you guys. If you buy this for that, I'm gonna come over there and wring your neck and take it from you and tell you that you're a horrible person. <laughs> this thing's got little safety switches, little doohickeys, all sorts of security stuff. Oh, and where is, oh, here it is. Ah, versus. Okay, let's do a little versus comparison. So it's got the safety, which connects right here. But this one also has that. So you could theoretically on the H2D put the little safety twisty switch on there. Does not have a LAN though, but this one does. This one has a hard wire. Let's see, I'm just gonna put up all the other, whatever specs that I have up on the screen here so you can see the comparison between the H2D and the Pro. Oh, and also the H2D Pro, it does apparently come with standard with it, the AMS2 Pro and the HT, which is this little drying box, I believe, a separate drying box. I'm gonna be real, I have the P1S and I like the darker color, so the darker one is the cheapest one, where here it's the most expensive, so. Can you have some consistency, Bamboo? Can you have some consistency? I do want one of these, but imagine if there was one over here, which was a cheaper version, but the same build size. Well, I don't know what, what's a good price. Let's say $1,000, but it had the same build size the 320, 325, 350, but one nozzle, no features, just the bill, the big, but yes, I, I know I was making fun of that earlier, but that is actually what I really want. I want a bigger bed, build bed. What I'd really like is a 350 millimeter size build. Anyways, 